Today I've got a program that's more complex than most. This one uh, searches a data file, so you can give it an input string, and it has either a case sensitive or case insensitive option. So let's jump into it. We'll go over it in detail, but this is uh, does string matching, and it'll read a pretty big file pretty fast and match all of the instances. It will print out the lines that it finds it on, and it will tell you how many occurrences it had. I'm going to use it to search the Bible because it's a really big book and it does it it shows it works pretty fast and nobody's going to sue me over using their text. So, okay, that's uh those are the pre notes. So let's get started. Uh the first line up here is the user string input. That's pretty obvious. That's what the that's what you're searching for. Uh the next one is the uh file string input. So every time the program reads a string from the file, it's going to go in here, and that's where the comparison will be between these two things. Uh, the occurrence is the number of occurrences found, and the match case is a flag that says how many times it, it found this uh, in the file. The next thing is the name of the file down here. Uh, so we're going to open this file called string search input zzz.txt as a read. And then we're going to ask the user what is the string to search for. So that's this input line right here. We're going to uh, ask for case matching. Do you want case matching or not? So case sensitive or not, one is yes, zero is no, and the default is no. Uh, let's see, then we have uh, the logic. So this is uh, pretty simple down here. Um, if this is determines the default, if the match case is not equal to one, then match case equals one, and then it's going to print the string that the user input, plus uh, whether it was uh, a one or a zero in the match case thing. Okay, so here's the main part of the program right here, and we're just going to go through the file. So for file string input in the file input file, if the case, if the match case is equal to one, so in other words. This is a case sensitive search, so if the user selected case sensitive, then this is it's going to go through this until the end of the file and it says, okay, if these two things match, if if the input string is inside the file string, so this is the string the user put in and this is the string that it got from the file. If this is in this string, then it's going to print it out and I'm not going to include a uh, line feed and then I'm going to bump the occurrence by one. Uh, if it's not case sensitive, then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to convert everything to lower when I do my comparison. So I got the dot lower and the dot lower over there. I'm going to do the comparison. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. I print the string I found and bump the occurrence by one. And that's it. So it's going to do this loop right here until the end of file. And then at the end of file, it's going to print out the string uh, that was searched for, the number of occurrences, then we're going to close the file and print done. So let's uh, run this and see how it works, see how fast it is. And here we go, let's run it, run, run module, uh, go down here, input string to search for, let's search for James. S and notice it's lower case. We'll say enter. Uh, case sensitive, if we say yes, then we're going to find out that uh, the number of occurrences of James with a little j is zero. Okay, so that works. Now let's go back and we'll try it with a capital J, shift J A M E S, enter. Uh, zero for no and there we go so it just searched the entire Bible uh, Old and New Testaments uh, and found the name James 145 times and here are all the occurrences you can scroll back and see them all so that's it okay so a relatively efficient string search that gives the number of occurrences in Python well, I hope you found it useful and interesting in your Python programming.